Go after the decoy. I put the decoy down. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to The Long Dark, Episode 8, where we're about to make some water. I guess I missed this container. So, so dry. More matches, and a scarf. Okay, that's, that's good, I like that. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to store all of the clothing that we're not using in this container, which includes you, and you and all of these, yes, clothing that is weighing us down. Very good. Uh, let's see, what else do we not need? Uh, I'll tell you what we do need, though, is water. So let's let's do that. I think we'll use our Fire Striker and Tinder and a book. 90% chance of success. You got it. Let's do it. Very, very nice. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves a bunch of water with this fire. Come on, little fire. And uh, let the day progress a little bit. Let the sun get a little higher in the sky so it's not as cold out. Because on top of there being two wolves that I want to deal with, I would love to be able to find a place to set up at least um, one rabbit snare. We only have one rabbit snare right now, but I'd like to set it up. And there's also a deer on the far side of the lake, as well as maybe some oh, cattails yeah. and everything else. Oh, did our fire skill just go up? Um... Hold on, hold on. Oh, here it is. Fire starting. No, we got fire starting skill, but it didn't go up. Carcass harvesting is at one. Cooking is at two. And that's about it for now. Okay. All right, fair enough. Anyways, let's go ahead and throw our sticks on the fire. We'll just hold on to that cedar firewood for now. And we'll start with two liters. I did notice looking through this cabin, there was no sort of toilet. Oh my. Sounds like a storm is picking up outside. That could impact our plans a little bit. It doesn't sound like an exceptionally bad storm, though. Um, you know what, though? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw the firewood in here. And try to go ahead and just do two more liters of water. Okay, sounds like it was just a windstorm and it's already passed through, so that's good. We'll boil two more liters. Get ourselves some extra water. Wonderful. Okay, so then what we'll do is... We'll put down some of this water. Drinking. I just drank some. No, okay. We're going to drop two liters... That'll work. And we'll put them up here. Start to make this place feel a little bit like home. We might clear out some of this debris. I wish you could, you know, build or remake furniture, but I suppose that's not a priority in the long dark. This place, though, if cleaned up, if we start to cut up all of these all of this debris, all of this trash laying all over the place. This place could be really nice. Okay, well, without further ado, let's... Right, no weapons in inventory. Glad I did that. All right. Let's make sure we've got some... Ra some... Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm going to put... Okay. Look at that, pretty steady. So we crouch, we get a little steadier maybe. Not bad, okay. 
Let's see what's going on outside. Because I'm ready to not be so stressed out by these wolves. Yep, there's the Canadian flag. Nice. I like this place. We don't have any bait. That wolf's a bit far. There was another one off to our right, which I don't see. A couple of vehicles. Let's go ahead and check these out. Can we even sight the gun in here? No, we can't. There's no reason to have it. Okay, nothing there. We'll check the visors. A little bit of food. That's good. There's that wolf. Anything in the back seat here? check the truck real quick. Although that wolf saw us now, so we absolutely don't have the element of surprise now, and I don't know where that wolf is going to go. But it could very easily decide it wants to come over this way. Hmm. I don't have the hatchet on me either. Let's just give the wolf a second to see what it wants to do. I wish you could... Ugh, why can't I look out the back window? Hmm. I feel like I would just turn around and look out the back window. Would be nice. All right, let's see what happens. Acquires the pry bar. We'll have to go get that. Okay, so I heard the wolf, but I don't have visual. Feeling a little squirrely, like I'm having to look all around in a big circle, and I don't like that. Let's get over here near the door. We'll just scan really, really slowly. Any sign of movement. We should have taken my shot at the wolf when I had the chance. Oh, okay, so there's a wolf in the distance. That's a really far shot, though. I don't think... Hmm. There's one wolf. I know for a fact there's a second one over here somewhere. I should be carrying the bait on me, though. That's what I should be doing. Birds over there? Is that a bear or a corpse? That's the question. Could be birds circling a deer that the other wolf got, maybe. Let's grab our decoy. Okay, so one wolf is very far away. Oh, look, we could mountaineering rope right down here. There's the lake. Okay, that's where I thought this path led, and it turns out it does if you have a mountaineering rope. I'm really trying to keep my distance. I know there was a wolf that barked at me when I was over near the truck.
All right, let's let's see if we can get up here on this hill over here and get a little bit of visual on what these birds are circling. I know there's a deer carcass over there on the far side. Oh, there's both the wolves right there. I have visual. On both wolves. Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, I'm not near the house anymore, which is a little concerning. Oh, that looks like a... I was hoping that was a birch sapling, but it looks like a maple sapling. It does. Anything right now. Another maple sapling. Really? Suppose that's just as well. Yep, we'll take it anyways. And we'll check this body and then we'll post up and see about getting one of the wolves. I hear you. They're giving me their little warning saying, hey, you're within a certain distance. Goodness. Some matches. Let's see about getting up here. Yes, this is good. Okay. Now, about those wolves. We've got one right there, tracking. And number two is there. Okay, so that's our mark. That's who we're going to get. This is a long shot, though. I don't think I don't think this is a realistic shot that I'm going to be able to make. We're going to give... I hate to waste our ammunition. Let's get, let's get a little closer to the house. At least closer to the truck. That's, that's dicey. Okay, let's go up here. Now I become the hunter, my friend. Now it is you who is hunted. Oh, I lost him in the trees. Nope, there he, here he comes. Go after the decoy. I put the decoy down. Boom! There you go, that's one. And the other one ran away. Look at that. Okay. That works for me. Let's go ahead and quarter you up. It'll take one hour. Let's do it. Need a knife or a hatchet to quarter a carcass. Well then, if we just say we want to do all of this, that's three hours and 14 minutes. What if we leave the meat? Hold on. It's pretty cold here, and the wind is kicking. It looks clear though. I don't, okay. It's already 27% frozen. It's freezing fast. So, uh, we didn't, and you know what we didn't find in this whole place was a sharpening stone. All right, put the rifle away. Give me the hatchet. I thought I could quarter with the hacksaw. That was bad planning on my part. All right, let's go back. Come on, don't be too frozen. It's freezing fast. Oh, it's only 3%. I thought it was much more than that. One hour, quarter it up. Okay, the fog rolled in. Very good, very good. There's the other wolf in the distance. Whew, this pack is getting kind of heavy. All right, yep. So here's what we're going to do, is we're going to drop 
We're going to drop this, and we're going to drop that right there on the ground. And we're going to come in here and throw down the pelt. Hold on. I, I'm very happy about the being able to quarter uh, animals for harvesting the meat later. I'm a big fan of that. I really wish we could have got a sharpening stone. Alright, before the fog rolls in, let's go get the second wolf here. Well, it seems like your aim is the truest when you first pull up the sight, and then the longer you hold it out, the shakier you get. Okay, it's gonna go after the it's gonna go after the bait now. Boom! That's right. That's so right. You are done. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, we're gonna quarter up another wolf. No sharpening stone, but that's okay. Boom, wolf pelt, quarters, guts, guts. Okay. Weather appears to be getting warmer because the fog, the fog tends to insulate everything and make stuff warmer. And gather a few of these sticks. Man, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought these trees here only looked like this when there was a bear nearby scratching on them. Is there a bear in this area? And I've taken it for granted that it's just wolves. Bears normally have the birds following them. I don't see anything. Hmm. I'm not sure. What we can do, though, is we can harvest this deer in two hours with the hacksaw, so let's do that. Sun's going down. Temperature was nice and warm, though. Of course, now we smell a little bit more like a buffet. We'll grab some of these rocks. I'm hearing something. Sounds very much like there's something walking in the snow. But it could just be the wind. It's hard to know for certain. Ooh, look at this eerie sunset. Oh my. Mmm. I'm absolutely hearing something walk around. Alright, let's get back. I don't like this. Mm, I don't like this at all. Okay, I heard the house creak, but it, that's not, it's not the same as... Could be snowdrift. I would like to. I would like to survey the local I would area, though. Almost anything. Right Fur limb, cedar limb. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's let's head back. There's no reason for us to be dehydrated. We have a lot of water. 
and we have lots and lots of food. Now, we're not going to eat a ton of wolf meat because of, you know, the risk of parasites and whatnot. But we do have food, and the area here is secure, and that's what matters. Okay. Mm. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. It, yeah, yes, it, it is a little heavy for sure. Let's go ahead and hydrate. There's no reason to be this dehydrated. Actually, cancel that. Um, well, I sort of already drank a bunch of it. I was going to say, we could have had a soda. No, we'll have the soda in the morning. At this point, we'll just, we'll just drink our water. We have more of it. Now, let's get all of our stuff here drying out, and then let's, uh, we'll return the hatchet, and we need to remember to grab our pry bar so we can check the trunk. There we go. Put down all the guts and the hide. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Now we'll put our hatchet back down here, and then I think we'll harvest all the meat out of this and put it out the back door. So let's put the hatchet back, and we have one hacksaw. Where did I put the other hacksaw? That's, uh, I think I put it over here, maybe. Yep, and there's the pry bar. So we'll take the pry bar out. Mm -hmm. and then we'll go over here and we'll get all the wolf meat out into the back yard. And then, oh no, well, well, we'll probably need to harvest it indoors, though. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that. We don't want to harvest it outside. It's unnecessarily cold. So instead, what we'll do is we'll just harvest the quarters here. No, we'll use the hacksaw. Hopefully we don't need sunlight to do this. We're about to find out, though, because the sunlight is about to be gone. Oof, we got that one done. Let's see, let's see if this, we can keep this trend going. And... No, we're still able to do it, that's good. Okay, well, we'll just keep harvesting this wolf meat in the dark, then. Very good. Sounds like the storm is out of here and blew through. I do want to cook all this, but it's getting late. Ooh, carcass harvesting, rank two. That's good. I'm a fan of that. Uh, we should cook all this wolf meat, though. We're really not that tired. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some firewood from downstairs because I think we can just cook all this tonight. Kind of no reason to avoid it. There you go. That should be plenty. But I think instead of using the stove, we're going to cook this one over the fireplace. Yes, I like the fireplace. Chance of success, 70%. Why was it so high last time? Oh, because it was a book, right? Right, yeah, it was, it was a book. Okay. All right, let's start the fire. 70% chance of success. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I would like to hopefully play this uh, this season long enough to at least get our skills up in some of these areas. I feel like I pushed myself for so long trying to play on the absolute hardest difficulty that it was counterproductive to me improving my knowledge of the game. <laughs> I 
No, I guess we'll use some of these cardboard matches. Might as well. That's 55% chance of success. Well, we might as well use them up, right? I mean, why wouldn't we? They're, they're crummy matches, but 55% chance of success? It's still 55%. It's not like we're going to throw them away. Ammunition is going to be limited, though. We're not going to be able to kill the wolves here constantly, and they will come back. They will come back, so we will have to start moseying on our way at some point. All right, let's start cooking all this food. Get our cooking skill up. Staying up late, roasting wolf meat. Wow, this storm really picked up outside. Good thing that didn't happen during the day. I mean, it's not like we absolutely had to get the wolf meat to eat, but it would have definitely changed our plans. Although we do have another book we can read. I would say we have a lot of clothing we can repair. But that's going to require some of these guts to be cured so that we can turn them into string. Which is absolutely why I want to get some rabbits out there so we can start getting some spare guts. Oh, cooking all this wolf meat. Be a master chef by the time this is done. cooked right through the storm. Oh my goodness, we're about to use up this fire completely. Holy moly. Uh, well, we can add some more sticks to it. There we go. Let's go. We've only got three more pieces of wolf meat. Oh, it's going to be close. We're going to throw some of that reclaimed wood in there. Ooh, it's past midnight. Yeah, all right, we'll add one reclaimed wood, cook the last meat piece of wolf meat. Boom. Very, very good. Okay, so now we'll swing ourselves out back here. Oh, it's so dark. No illumination tonight, goodness. We'll just throw down all of you. I'll eat these half pieces. No, I think what we'll do is we'll eat the venison and we'll save one of the fresh cooked wolf meat ones as the bait. So I'm going to slide over a little bit here, and we'll throw down this last one, right? And this has, what, 753 calories, 183. That's plenty for the night. And then we can figure out what we want to do as far as looking for where the rabbits are tomorrow. Look at that fireplace. I tell you, this place could be really nice. Little home, little home away from home. Now we're not going to add more fuel though. We're going to go upstairs and get to bed. It is late. I eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Mm, yeah, no, don't eat snow. That's that's bad for you. It's really bad for you. All right, let's. You know what? I changed my mind. We are going to have a soda before bed. It's an orange soda. There's no caffeine, so it's not going to keep us up or give us trouble sleeping. I lay down, right? But a few extra calories couldn't hurt. All right, let's eat ourselves the fresh cooked venison. Sure, yep. We'll eat that. And then we'll eat the gamey venison. Yes.
And then the fresh cooked wolf meat. At 115 calories, that's good. There you go. 30 calories. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. All right, there you go. Barely anything on them. Drink more water. We'll get our hydration back. And that's going to be the end of the episode. What a productive day. Mm -hmm. This has been The Long Dark, Episode 8. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching. Because as always, I've had a good time playing. Come back next time as we let some of our stuff cure and attempt to look for some rabbits. But until next time, take care.